Well, Jason, congratulations. Second time I'm speaking to you after a hat trick. How was that one? It was good. Um, I think it was a big win, especially, I think it might be the first team that we've beaten that's above us. Um, I was disappointed with my performance last week. Um, obviously, the gaffer took me off, so I thought I needed to respond today, and um, I'd like to think that I did. <laughs> obviously, a spot kick and then a sh shot from the edge of the box, and then, of course, the diving header as well. What was your favourite one today? Yeah. To be fair, I like headers. I, I always think that headers are a better feeling than, but every goal is good. Um, I know I knew that Warby was struggling, so um, I was practicing some pens this week. I thought I might be on it, and then I get, got the nod before the game. So as soon as Stars got that, I was uh, stepping up. It's taking you on to twenty goals now for the season. Um, mm. Did you, even in your wildest dreams, imagine that was going to be the case well before Christmas? I didn't know. Um, like I said, I was confident coming in, but 20 goals is more than, I, more than I expected. I'd been happy with that at the end of the season, to be fair. So let's hope it just continues. It's perhaps an unfair question at this stage of your <clears> county <throat> career, but obviously uh, Hatters fans are asking the question, how long are you going to be with us? Because clearly 20 goals, it, it makes people sit up and take notice. Um, is there an option maybe for you to stay a little longer than the end of the season? It's, it's a tough one. Um, I'm loving my time here. Um, but with work and football, I'm, I'm not sure. But mm. I'd like to say that I'm loving it. And yeah, the, the, I think I'd like to go higher if, if that's an option. I'm 25, I've been working hard for it. But um, I've got a great life at the moment, a work life balance. Um, and it's a massive club to play for. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just enjoying the moment now and trying to improve every game. So watch this space, maybe, yeah. <laughs> in terms of your, your career, obviously we spoke in the summer, you just started the job at the council of Chester Hospital, how's it gone for you? Yeah, it's good, um, it's, it's a good balance like I say, mm. um, and it fits in really well, just, uh, I've just moved into a house in Chester which good. is li nearby, so everything's perfect at the moment. Great stuff. In terms of your football, <laughs> obviously it's a massive win this today, and yep. um, it takes County back up to, to ninth in the table, not too far now behind the likes of Kidderminster, yep. um, is it still potentially a promotion campaign this one? Definitely. Um, playoffs are well in sight and we know that a couple of wins, two, three wins and it puts us right back in there. Yeah. Um, today, I'm hoping that it's going to be the start of a run. Um, a good feeling about the place and um, beating a team higher than us who are a tough team as well. So let's hope that we, we can continue that now. And it's great as well to we'll prove we can play without Matty Warburton because he's going to be a big miss the next few weeks, isn't he? Yeah, big miss. Um, he's a really good player. love playing with him. He's um, sharp, clever. He knows what runs are making. But um, we'll be playing slightly differently without him, but it seemed to work today. So, yeah. Well, your second hat-trick of the season. You weren't quite as good as Stephen O'Halloran, though, today, apparently. Is that right? Apparently not. <laughs> no. He's, he's a great player. <laughs> good player to play alongside. Um, but, yeah. Well, I'm reliably informed we are going to make a presentation of Man of the Match with another bottle of champagne. So let's, let's make sure you get hold of that one. Congratulations today. Well done. All right, cheers. Thank you.